Wow, okay, so the Montreal Canadiens and the Colorado Avalanche earlier today were involved in a trade that involved Alex Newhook, former 2019 16th overall pick by the Avalanche. He's getting sent over to the Habs for the 31st overall pick in this year's draft, the 37th overall pick in this year's draft, and Yanni Fairbrother. Keep in mind, the Habs haven't actually signed Alex Newhook yet. They have his negotiation rights. But when they do actually come to a conclusion, I hope that they have a deal that satisfies both parties. But regardless, I wanted to talk about this trade, give my thoughts on both sides, because there is actually quite a bit here to unpack. Let's start off with the Colorado Avalanche. They get the 31st overall pick in the 2023 draft coming up tomorrow. And it's the second last pick in the first round. But regardless... I think it's a really interesting position to be in because, as we all know, this is a very stacked draft class, a lot of really good players from 1 to 10, 10 to 20, and, you know, in that 10 to 20 range, I'm sure there will be a name or two that can drop from 25 to 31st, somewhere around there, because, I mean, we see it happen every single year. I mean, look at Brad Lambert last year, got taken 31st overall or something like that, 30th overall, one of those picks, but that guy was told to go top five at one point. And he fell all the way down. And, you know, if I was to give a prediction as to who I feel, you know, a guy with a lot of potential is who might fall this far is Edward Sale. I mean, a lot of people talk about the guy and he was touted to go top 10, top five, even by some scouting reports. But, you know, now he's in the mid 20s. So it'll be interesting to see if he's still available there at 31. Even the 37th overall pick, which is another one that they have acquired, is a pretty good selection. And then they have Yanni Fairbrother, who I can't lie, I haven't done the most research on, but it's another name to add to the list, so yeah. But anyways, moving on now to what the Montreal Canadiens received, the biggest piece in this trade, 16th overall pick in 2019, Alex Newhook. And honestly, man, I gotta say, this is a player with a ton of untapped potential. You know, he might not be getting the numbers right now, but to be fair to him, he hasn't really been given that big of an opportunity on the Colorado Avalanche, obviously being shadowed by guys like McKinnon and Landeskog and Rantanen and whatnot. So, you know, it's hard to perform when those guys are getting all the spotlight. He only got 30 points in 82 games this past season, but he's only 22 years old. So much room to grow for this player. And I could definitely see him getting into that 60-point range when he enters his prime. I do want to compare this trade to the Kirby Dock one, because that's another player taken in the 2019 draft. Third overall was Kirby Dock. 16th overall is Alex Newhook. You're getting the guys that are like 20 years old, 22 years old. Even Cole Caulfield was in that draft. He was taking a pick before Newhook at 15 by the Habs. So you're really loading up on these young, talented players. And I think this is a really good direction that Ken Hughes is sending the Montreal Canadiens in. They have the fifth overall pick in this year's draft. We'll see who they get, it. whether it's Mitchkov or Will Smith. They're going to be adding another really good player to their roster. And I think this is a very necessary move to make for them. I do want to know your thoughts, though, in the comment section below. Habs fans, how do we feel about this trade? Because I think it's pretty good for you guys. But yeah, be sure to let me know. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are new around here because the off season is officially here. And I'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out and take care.